Aloha. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? I, uh, I'm actually going to use a little bit of Hawaiian um, dialect today, so I, I thought I'd start off with that. Maybe that'll be my new sign-in. Aloha. I have a buddy who uh, says ciao all the when he's when he's done talking to you. So maybe maybe I'll just start with Ohana or uh, Aloha from now on. Um, anyways, glad to have you with me on this Wednesday morning. We're at the middle of the week. Um, I was off last week, and if you've ever gone on vacation, you know that uh, jumping back in is just everything waiting for you. And uh, so. If your week's half as crazy as my week is, um, God bless you. If it's not, God bless you, and uh, God is blessing you. So we're glad to have you with us for a couple of moments today. I'm going to say I'm quick today because I always give you these little updates on what's happening. Uh, our services are now 8.30 and 10 o'clock starting this Sunday, October 11th. We will have um, communion, so we're looking forward to that. If you're, um, if you're going to be home um, get those communion emblems ready, uh, you know, uh, get some crackers, get, get a little juice and, uh, we, uh, will definitely, um, be, uh, sharing communion with each other. Um, also just a reminder, our trunk or treat, um, it's coming together. So we'd love to have you trunk treats, uh, your trunk, your treats, um, or, and most importantly, we need you. We need lots and lots of hands on deck. 5.30 to 7.30 on October 31st. And here is the kicker. We get an extra hour of sleep. I mean, can, can you believe this? It's going to be a full moon. It's going to be Halloween, you know, a harvest, however you want to call it. That's fine. And we get an extra, we, we fall back that night. So um, it's going to be a big night. 5.30 to 7.30, we're going to need some folks earlier, obviously. We're getting the information. We're wrapping it all up, getting it together. We're working on it. Um, it's coming together, but uh, we need you. So go check out our website, sccbranford.org. Okay, so we've been talking out of Ephesians the last couple days. I'm actually going to jump back into scripture we used yesterday. I'm going to expand a different thought from it, and it's from Ephesians chapter 1. And uh, we looked at three through six this morning. I want to look at just four and five for a moment. And um, we'll uh, take a look at what this says. It says this, look, even before he made the world, now here's what we looked at yesterday. God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes, right? So I want you to think of that scripture. I want you to think of a parent and how they see their grandkid or their kid. Um, they just love them, and and nobody sees their child the way they see them, right? They're just, you, you ever see that parent that their kid can't sing, but they're just in awe of them when they sing? That's that's kind of how God looks at us. He goes, ah, I don't care if it's off tune. You know what? It's beautiful. I love it. I just, I, 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 I can't get, you know, enough of, that that music when they sing i can't get enough of when they spend time with me i can't i can't get enough of it now look at this verse five god decided in advance to adopt say adopt good he chose in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through jesus christ this is what he wanted to do and it gave him great pleasure you know there was a movie a few years ago and uh, in the movie, they used this, this quote, and it was this. It was, Ohana means family, and family means no one or no one gets left behind or forgotten. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. You know, when someone adopts a child, the past for that child is erased. And their names erased, their affiliation um, is erased, and they become part of a new family. This is what happens to us through Christ Jesus. Our past, our old selves, our old identity, who we used to be, who we associated with, how we were known is erased, and we become sons and daughters of God. We become brothers and sisters of of Jesus. We are absolutely made part of the family with all the rights and all the benefits of being 
in that family. Just like an adopted child is. That child is no longer who they used to be. They're now the son, the daughter of those people who adopt them. Because those people who adopt them make a choice that they're going to love them, provide for them, and they're going to now be part of their family. Adoption's a beautiful, beautiful picture of what God does for us. It's a beautiful picture of how we are brought into the fullness of the family of God. Now, here's, here's what happens. We sometimes allow the lies of Satan to rob us emotionally from that. We begin to question our validity in the family of God. And there's nothing that can separate us from that family. We have the old is passed away, all things are made new. Our, our, our identity, our way of life, that is gone. It's now in Christ Jesus. We are part of the family of God. And God doesn't withhold anything from us. He doesn't treat us different, right? He treats us absolutely like his children. The same rights, privileges, and benefits that Jesus has, we are afforded because God has adopted us. And you know what? I think we we lose track of that. There's two sides to this. There's one side that says that we can be cocky and arrogant, you know, and, and there's there's teaching out there that says you just you just tell God, no, 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 no. We we still are respectful. We still just like any child would be. I expect my kids to respect me. I, I expect my children to, to show um, respect and honor to me. Absolutely. And we do as God's children. We respect him and then we honor him. But at the same time, you know, I don't go, my kids don't come into my house. Even even my grown kids don't come into my house and go, well, dad, would it, would it be okay if I get something out of the fridge? No, they walk in and they're like, ah, cold cuts. I'm making a sandwich. Hey, look at this. Leftover chili. I'm getting, they don't ask. They just take. Why? Because they're not my kids. They're my kids. They have all the rights and privileges of my home. And nothing changes that. And so we are respectful. We honor our Heavenly Father. But at the same time, we don't have to pussyfoot around and, and, and try and, oh, is it okay? Is God all right with me? Is God? No, no, I'm, I'm his child. He loves me. He chose me. He chose me. He's brought me in through the blood of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. Ohana means family, and family means nobody gets left behind or forgotten. Can I tell you something this morning? I want you to just walk in the freedom of the Spirit and walk in the freedom of being God's child today. And no matter what comes against you, no matter what you face, and no matter what, what you, you come up against or what happens to you today, you know what? You can say, I'm a child of God. And the blessings that I have on my life, that's because I'm a child of God. And the, and the situations and the trials that come into my life, I know that my Father is working on my behalf in regards to that. And so we walk as children of God. Heavenly Father, I pray that we would understand the blessings. The old is gone. We have a new identity. We are God's children. We are Christians. We are Christ followers. We are family. And family means that no one is forgotten or left behind. So, Lord, I pray, I, it's silly, it comes from a, a, a cartoon movie, but God, I pray that we would understand that we are Ohana, we're family, that we would live, interact, and walk as your children today. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for a few minutes of your time. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We'll be looking at Ephesians again. Blessings.